Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with a project share. So a lot of you have been telling me, which I was kind of surprised, that they really enjoy my mixed plate embellishments um, videos and that I haven't done one in a while. So I was like, hey, I'm actually working on some stuff. So these aren't all completed um, and partially because I'm not sure what I want to do with them yet. Um, but I do have a couple of swaps coming up where it's like spring theme. So I thought I would just get a jump start on like die cutting a lot of the stuff so that once I'm ready to like put it all together, then they're like ready to go. So <clears throat> it's kind of like a half die cutting, half embellishment mix play video, I guess. So um, as you can see, I have mostly like butterflies, rosettes and bows. I think that's it for this group <clears throat> and but what I did want to do was like try to like use some of the stuff that I haven't really used in a really long time or I've never used at all um, just so that I can start to like figure out how to use those dyes or just like start to enjoy them again um, and then also try to like remember to use my other stuff so like for example um, I cut out um, I only used the Tim Holtz die set which the rosette dies that everybody likes um so I just cut a whole bunch out of a different type of paper I don't remember exactly all the paper that I used some of them were just scraps and some of them was like um one of the Maggie Holmes collections I think it's parasol and then I think I might have even used some of that rainbow one and the I might have even used some of the new simple stories and the what is the last one I used poppy and pear so sorry I can't remember which one belongs to which collection but what I also wanted to point out was like I finally um, remembered to use the tool on some of them I didn't put it on all because again I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all of them but the ones that were more plainer um, like they didn't have a lot of print going on then I added the that it looks like a snowflake kind of a um, tool to it I want to say this one I got from AliExpress but I know Rosanna gave me a whole bunch from Dollar Tree so I did that to the more plain looking ones and I think they came out really cute. I, I'm glad I remembered to use them. So I'm going to try to remember to use them more often. Um, but I did a bunch of those and then I did do some like, I think I just whatever paper I was using, I just did one of each type and then I just ran it through my machine. So this is a really cute daisy one and then these all look the same. I'm pretty sure this is the Maggie Holmes one. Um, and then I did a bunch of these that look a little bit more plain. This was just a scrap. It was an old Lawn Fawn. This was a scrap. I don't know which side I'm going to use. This was a scrap. Um, you can tell because there's only like one of each of those. This one was all the same paper and this was all the same paper. So at least I have some to start playing around with. Um, the other thing that I did was, I'll do butterflies last. Um, I did bows. So um, this is a Kiss Crafts or a scrap diva I can't remember which dye this one was um, but it's really cute it has like a eyelet looking scalloped edge um, I didn't even put the the part that goes around it because I'm more than likely going to put something in the middle so I was playing around with it and I was like look even something like um like this would be cute where you put the the butterfly in the middle see so I haven't really like decided yet how I'm going to use them so that's why they're kind of like half finished so that was one set and then I did another set with this um some of these repetitive papers as you're seeing so this is a double bow um set I think it's a scrap diva um die and it comes in like three sizes so I just cut them out in these two papers um so I have some of those to play with and the rest are all butterflies so this set I really like it um and I wish I had played with it sooner but these are um oh I can't remember the name of the dye company. I don't know if it's My Crafting World Anna, or the, it's another one, but it's one of the smaller, um, just like she's a crafter like us. And um, she came out this really with this really cute butterfly set. So it comes with two sizes, which is the larger and the smaller size butterfly um, along with the middle. But I really love how they came out because they're a little bit more poofy. Um, this one I did it backwards, but that's because I, I cut it the wrong way so the hearts would have been upside down. And I'm going to try to still utilize it somehow. It looks a little strange compared to the rest of them, but I'm like, ah, I can probably still use it. So anyway, so I really like how those came out. And I just saw um, Eileen use them as well. So I was like, hey, I just used that die too. Um, and then I, I found these in my collection. So I'm pretty sure these, this is a Scrap Diva. 
It's like a butterfly rosette die. Um, and then I use the same die um, that I used for the body here. And I just die cut extra because I don't think it came with a body. So I just added on that, um, that body from that other set. And these came out super cute. So I got a bunch of those. And then um, this is a die set. I think pretty sure I got it from like AliExpress. So I just got all of the leftover scraps that I've been finding in my craft room. And I've just been playing around with it. So either using the gold foil or the gold um, glitter, either on top or underneath. Just so I have a variety of little butterflies to play with. And again, these are smaller sized um, butterflies. So sometimes you just need a smaller one, like for your project, right? And then these were like all of the extras because I just, I try to keep it all in one plate. I mean, if I try not to break it up as much as possible. So these are all like the extra pieces that I haven't used yet. Um, and then these are all the other extra pieces that I haven't used yet. Here's another one that goes with that group and then that. And then I also busted out my favorite um, Lawn Fawn butterfly die. So I made a bunch of these using the printed papers. Um, I think they came out super cute. And then I have a, a few extras leftovers. So that is my quick um, mix plate embellishment slash die cutting um, project share for today. Um, and hopefully I can start actually playing with them. But look how cute it'll look like that. See? I gotta make more of these butterflies. I really like how they came out. So go in your stash and try to see what you can do to play around with it. There's quite a few other things I need to do to finish up these swaps, but I just wanted to get started just so I have something to kind of play with. And then some of them, it's like just bows and, you know, um, bows and butterflies and flowers and that kind of stuff anyway. So I thought, you know, I better just get a start on getting some of the basics done. Okay, well, hope you... Um, <clears throat> enjoyed this project share. I do have a bunch of other videos I need to do, so I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!